Hey everyone, we're back. Hi. Willow, Teresa. We are sprouting lentils today. Going to make some sprouted hummus actually. With the lentils, the lentils are going to replace the chickpea in the hummus. So we're gonna get it started. And just to like recap on our last sprouting, the reason that you sprout is to neutralize the phytic acid so that you obtain the highest amount of nutrient from the lentil or whatever seed or legume or bean you happen to be sprouting. The, um, the lentils contain vitamins B and C, potassium, carotene, um, the amino acids, the essential amino acids, isoleucine and lysine. Anything else? Oh, complex carbohydrates. And they are really, really good for gut health. They're high in protein. They're high in fiber which makes them great for gut health, so all about that. They're also really, really low in fat, so if you are on some sort of a weight loss situation or plan right now, this is a really good thing to add in because they're, they've got their like serious complex carbohydrate. They're the highest of all of the seeds, of all of the seeds to sprout or the legumes or the beans. These ones have the highest amount of protein. They're not a complete protein on their own, but if you add them with a grain, you, you create a complete protein. They're super tasty yeah. on their own when they sprout with their little tails. I mean, if you go into Whole Foods, for example, they have little packets of sprouted lentils with sprouted peas and things like that. They're just a super yummy, tasty thing. Well, the taste is like, it's a nutty flavor. So it's really nice to add on to salads, put on to the top of a soup, put onto sandwiches, potatoes. potatoes. I mean, honestly, and we're gonna make hummus with them. We love our sprouts. We do, they're and so there's good. And there's so many things you can sprout, that's why it's exciting. So let's get into it. I'm taking half a cup of lentils, adding them into my 32 ounce glass mason jar, and then I'm gonna take my water, I don't know why I just did this, but I've got three cups of water here and I'm gonna add the water to the mason jar and I'm going to put the sprouting lid on. And these will go into a dark space like a cabinet and they'll go into the cabinet overnight. They really need to be in a dark space for about 12 hours. See on the flip. Hey, it's day two of sprouting the lentils. I'm going to pull them out of the cabinet where they've been soaking overnight in filtered water. We'll strain these off and rinse them. I will be making some sprouted hummus when this is ready. And just wanted to make note real quick that we're sharing recipes that you can intermix and interchange and use together in different ways. So you can always circle back to other recipes that we did and add them into different recipes and we'll always kind of guide you along the way. Hope you love it, get you some. Alrighty, so just pour off the water, got the sprouting lids on. We'll check back in tomorrow and rinse again. Hey, let's rinse those sprouts one more time. As you can see, the little tails are forming. Hey there. Hey. So we're going to make the sprouted lentil hummus. Check these babies out. The sprouts are ready. The lentil sprout is very dense energetically and they're high in fortifying protein that your body can assimilate with ease. They're also tasty, right? They're so tasty. And this is the the lentil sprout, or the sprouted lentil, however you want to say it, is also the most protein rich sprout that you can do, that you can be intaking. And they love to pass their brute strength onto you. I love that, the brute strength. Well they give you a carbohydrate base that propels you forward and you know with the tasks that you're doing and they leave you with energy after you eat them. So if you're one of those ones that is always doing things for other people and putting yourself last, put your heart and soul into everything, this is the sprout for you. The sprouts are there to support you. The hummus we're gonna make is super delicious. So let's show you how easy it is. 
I'm gonna back away. Have at it, T. These are the ingredients. We have the sprouted lentils, olive oil, lemon juice, raw tahini, cumin, minced garlic, and sea salt. You'll just need a food processor. Let's do it. Alrighty, so we have three cups of the sprouted lentils. Putting them into the food processor. Three tablespoons of tahini. Three tablespoons of lemon juice. Three tablespoons of olive oil. Three teaspoons of cumin. Three teaspoons of minced garlic. And one and one half teaspoon of sea salt. Let's mix. Let's give it a try. Willow's the taste tester extraordinaire. Mmm, yummy. I always say the same thing, but it's true. It's really, really good. <laughs> I don't want to... Oh, my God. It's so fresh. Oh, yeah. It's like you, you're eating something alive, and so you're really just feeding your cells. It has mm. a heartiness to it. Mm -hmm. So it's delicious in purple cabbage. You know, you can create little cabbage boat. boat. It's delicious in collard wraps. I you think could even take little romaine. Romaine's like a nice, um, a nice little boat and, of and a lettuce too. We made some sandwich bread today that's organic and gluten free. So I think we're going to try it on there. I had to get in on this hummus action. Delicious. I'm really wanting it with some collards. I got a bunch of collard wraps, putting it on here, and I love to double up on my collards because I am a green food fanatic. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put a little bit in there and wrap it up like I would if it were a burrito or something. And you can throw in there some cabbage or other things, but there's my little collared burrito hummus that I'm gonna nosh on real quick. What do you think? Are you having the same experience I did with the hummus? Oh yeah, oh yeah. The sway is happening. Mm -hmm. You are swayed in this direction. It's yeah. really tasty. We have some banana bread in the background too that we just made. Yeah. And so just to remind you, yes, that these videos, we're kind of encouraging you to watch the other ones because we'll share one recipe on one video and then you can use it onto the next recipe, the next video. And that's kind of our spiel, I guess. So. Because honestly, I come from an eating disorders background and I remember as a young girl, 15, 16, 17 years old, what I was looking for was satisfaction. And I, I finally found it. Well, I found it about almost 20 years ago, but <laughs> I found it. I wish that I had had some examples or somebody who could have shown me some of this stuff back then. And we had jumped wholeheartedly into raw food for a long period of time, stopped eating cooked food, mm -hmm. and reintroduced baking again when we found new ways to bake. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, Medical Medium inspired us a lot totally. on this. So we always tweak those recipes with 
little things here and there and we'll be sharing a lot of that here because it's been a game changer for our picture. It's like every decade it seems like I need to walk through a new door, that there's either something I need to set down and something I need to pick up or vice versa. So all I can say is this kind of eating has really changed my life and I invite anybody who is looking for weight loss or better health or stronger and thicker hair or better breath or brighter teeth or brighter eyes or whatever it is you're looking for, this plant-based whole food eating is really the ticket. It really is. You know, when you're not taking in death and you're just eating things that are mostly alive. Like Long story short, get you some. <laughs>